Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civiliz... Blah, 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 Europe Universe Size 4. Almost said Civ 6 out of habit. So we've got our things established here. I just want to do a quick review. Uh, we've got all our dudes going. Where are all our colonists? We have a colonist over here in Antigona, and we definitely want to get these guys over because every 2,000 troops will reduce our uh, settler amount by 200. Um, and... We need another garrison. We will transport these guys. Uh, let's have a look at this fleet. Yeah, you're repaired, so I can start moving the second army. This will be renamed to the fifth garrison. And you will be going over to garrison here. Uh, how many? We have plenty of room for more ships, but I do need to save up more money. Aachen joined a trade league. We have Scotland would like to hire Condottieri. England, Denmark, Norway, and Galloway. see so no because they can't afford it okay I'm gonna rent them out my army and hope that no one declares war on me we will Lose some Republican tradition, because we have that dream. Okay, we can't actually cross the border here. But at least that makes Scotland seem a little bit more dangerous. Alright, let's take this next idea. This will be diplomatic relations plus one. Um, I want to get to this naval force limit modifier. So let's see, this will be yearly prestige. Um... No, I don't want that yearly prestige. I'm good. So I need these guys to get out of here so I can uh, cross over. I could really help out Scotland if I could just get across. Scotland needs assistance. I could... Who are they at war with? Let me have a look at this. Who is the war leader? Let's see. If I were to try to enforce peace. So let's talk to Castile and see if we can improve their relations. If we can get Castile to be our friend, we might be able to uh, join this war on the side of Castile. I need to get across this. These guys need to get out of here. Steel is coming. Okay, that's good. Wipe him out, Castile. Good job, good job. Oh, wait, Castile, where did you send your fleet? There it is, okay. Okay, we can cross now. Wow, they have a big army. I want to keep Scotland alive if I can. Now, my capital has grasslands. This is grasslands as well. I want to keep an eye out if they decide to come for me. Very nice.
Friendly units may attach to this army. I want to keep an eye out. Okay, they're not coming down from me yet. Uh, we are actually going to start keeping the guy because we are very close to getting our ambition, which should unlock extra yearly Republican tradition. So we're going to start keeping this guy so that we can start generating more and more points. We're going to keep this guy. We're going to set it to National Unrest guy. I was going to take the guy that gives me conversion strength. That's not a big deal. Missionary strength plus 0 0.5. Sure. 100 population Barakoa. Okay, he's not coming down to cause problems for me. I need to start. I need to get this sieged and start liberating some of these Scottish provinces. In fact, what I'm going to do is send Scotland a subsidy of one. And that would help them out a little bit, I think, because they're having income problems, I think. Give me a little bit more power projection. Okay. I think he's coming down to fight me now. Right, let's get into Irishure, because we have better defense in Irishure. I wish I could get into that land there. Okay. Are you coming to fight me? Yep. I want to get into an Irishure because that's our best place to defend. Denmark has come over as well. We need Spain to start landing troops on... Um, on this place. Now it looks like Spain is dealing with some of this stuff over here. And even Aragon is taking care of Denmark. So if we can just help Scotland out a little bit. Okay, we're going to fight here. This is going to be a rough fight because they have a lot of cannons. We have a lot less cannons. This is going to be a very difficult fight. And we don't really have any boosts. Wait, really? My entire army died? How? Well, that's going to save me some money, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Alright, I guess my whole army just died. Turn this fort on. Keep us alive while we rebuild. Cool. Nice. I'm a big fan of that. I like that. That's cool. Let's, uh, let's start rebuilding, I guess. Probably was a big mistake. Eh, we learn. We live and we learn. So Scotland's on its own. We're not going to be able to use Scotland against England, sadly. Yeah, they just lost two important provinces. We probably still might be able to use Scotland a little bit, but they're definitely weaker. He forced an end to our alliance. Let's see here. Local goods produced or 15 admin. I like the admin power here. I'm going to finish my idea group here a little bit quicker. Some of these colonies will be finished soon. Uh, policy change is in order. Gain innovativeness, lose some prestige. Yeah. I want to gain prestige. Or sorry, I want to gain innovativeness because that, that pays off over a long, a long period of time. Alright, cool. Let's get another idea. Shipbuilding time down. One more and then we are fully locked into these very nice ideas. Bubbling buffoon.
damn it. Castile. Should have let me join your war, you fool. All right, one of our colonies became self-sustaining. Let's start spreading our colonies around a little bit. Good stuff. Ottomans declared war on Genoa. Let's build some more infantry. There we go. Spending some of our manpower. That will recover. Quarantine the port. 100% always the best choice. Seal. Seize their wealth. Yes. We will seize their wealth because that will let me rebuild my army. So I'm thinking 10 infantry. Two cavalry. And four cannons. That seems like a reasonable number of cannons. Antigua became self-sustaining. Barracona became self-sustaining. Uh, do I want to call this Cuba? You know what? We will call this Irish Cuba. So we will send another one here. Send one here. We definitely want to get this guy established nicely. Very nice. So Cuba now exists as a subject, and I'm getting tariffs from them. Not a huge amount of tariffs right now, but as their income increases, uh, most importantly, they will have the potential to give me uh, a merchant here. So I'm currently creating three new. I need just a little bit more in terms of... Um, in terms of thingies, whatever you call them, the things that give me stuff. But the cool thing is now we should actually be getting some force limit from them. They only have a force limit of zero right now. Native assimilation. Ah, that became self-sustaining as well. Let's do Jamaica. Let's get you transported over there. Church of England. Okay, so they just founded a new religion. Anglican. That's going to be fun for them. And you can see Reformed and Protestant is spreading very nicely. I would like to flip France. I think that could be really cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Ah, I'm going to lose my great power status, sadly. Not the end of the world. Poland is getting quite big and rambunctious. Uh, I guess I could spend a little bit of my diplomatic power on some production stuff. I think I'll spend three clicks. And again, you can see our color is slowly improving. We will gain mercantilism. Now, mercantilism will increase how much liberty desire my subjects have, but that's okay. Local production efficiency... Uh, I think the prestige is less painful right now. I want to m maximize how many of these points I have. Let's lower this down to about a minus one morale. That way we have just a little bit of income to play with. Another colony became self-sustaining. Very good. This will slowly result in more and more money for me. Now, what is your expenses? Okay, you are not yet paying for your own colony, but that's something I definitely want you to do. Can I seize territory from you? That's an interesting one. I can press sailors, I will gain. Replace the governor. Placate local rulers. Pay off debts. They have no cast. Oh, I can start I can get them to start a war, okay. I can customize them. Okay. Embargoing my rivals. Decrease tariffs. 
I think if anything, I want to increase tariffs, but I'm not going to do that until I have expansion filled out and until these guys are managing their own colonist, I think. Um, then I'll start increasing tariffs because I want them to be able to field a small army for themselves and stuff like that. Okay, Diplotech is available again. Let's do another three clicks of production value. One, two, three. Should get us back up there. Now, do I want to keep this guy? What are his skills? Autonomy change isn't awful. I'm going to keep him for the extra points. We'll go pretty low on this. But once we pick up this final idea, it'll actually start climbing back up nicely. We'll be climbing up more than two per year. Um, so we'll slowly gain Republican tradition, even if we use the same guy over and over. All right. Let's go ahead and take competitive merchants. Boom. Naval force limit. Global trade power. Very nice. That should boost us significantly. Okay, so the Protestant core reformation thing can no longer convert any provinces. Uh, this reformed one is still doing a few, which is nice. It's going to convert a few extra provinces down here. Cause some issues for France. Uh, yeah, nice one. A little bit of religions appearing in the Holy Roman Empire. You could also do some military development. I will do just a couple of clicks. Yeah, that's all. Look at that little bit of manpower here and there. Ah, penal co colony. Yes. We will set up a penal colony for the extra thing. Natives are attacked. Natives are attacked. Okay, we should we should handle most native attacks pretty easily at the current levels of tech and stuff like that. Colonies are building up. They do not take very long to build. Uh, at a minimum, like less than 10 years, I think. I think on average, my colonies without any new settlers would be... Um, eight years, but the fact that we have an additional global settler increase and the settler chance, they're going to develop extremely quickly. Um, I think I can afford to lose military power. And we will gain... Let's see, who has the influence, though? Mm. I want the guilds to lose influence. I'll give the traders some influence. So we'll lose the 30 military power. Holy Roman Empire. I am not eligible. But we can see here, currently our subject is 1.2% uh, of our power. And uh, that'll increase as the game goes on as we get more subjects. So hopefully we can keep that, um, keep that from getting out of hand. Let's go ahead and set up own subject countries. Very good. Just set him off and keep those own country subject countries. Now, what are you doing? You're a lightship. You're supposed to be protecting trade. In uh, the North Sea. Give me more value. And in fact, I'm going to get more of you guys. Okay, one more year. Guadeloupe is now producing coffee. Very nice. It's a pretty high value. We gain some innovativeness. So once we hit December, we'll be researching some more technology. Jamaica is producing cotton. Cotton is actually a really important resource because if you get trading in it, you, I believe you get more settlers and stuff. Um, I think I want to gain some Republican tradition here. I want to keep it high so I can keep re-electing the same guy. Jamaica rolls up. It's soon going to be another year and we'll be able to research a bunch of tech. October. Lose a little bit of prestige. Babbling buffoon. Spy network has been curtailed, being attacked by native forces. Truce with Scotland has ended. Can't create an alliance for another four years. We are losing innovativeness, so let's go ahead and research all of these texts. Look how cheap this is. 244. Minus 10% from foreign talent. 28% from ideas. 5% from a neighbor bonus. Scientific revolution minus 10%, golden era minus 10%, and minus 3.2%. That's insane. This is less than half. This is a greater than 50% discount. Now, these ones aren't quite so good, but still, 328 diplomo diplomatic power for this is crazy. And we're ahead of time, too. We picked up a little bit of tech. Um, you can see, we're, we're like holding our own in terms of tech. 
Now, we do want to start thinking about the next institution because it is only in a few years. So we are eligible to get the birthplace of the printing press. Mm, maybe not. I think it, I think you can only spawn one of these things. But we got colonialism, which has been a big advantage because almost no one has colonialism um, across the world. You can see it has not spread well at all. France just about has it now. Is it embraced? It's not embraced. Not even England fully has it. Have they embraced it? Nope. Yep, so we managed to keep it from people pretty well. Yeah, these guys have embraced it. So I feel pretty happy about that, that we managed to keep it from the majority of people. Like, it's already providing a massive negative penalty to a lot of these civilizations that are pretty important. Um, and hurting them is good. Oh, our new, our leader even reduced our tech cost. We could have saved even more, which is insane. Or insane. Um, I'm thinking we will pass the Popery Act. Once we let just zeal goes away, that'd be a good move to reconvert Schleigach. Okay, we're now producing fur. We can go ahead and buy an ability. Institution spread, ship, trade power, propagation, war score, blockade impact on siege, religion and force. Ah, okay, that's a cool one. I think I'm going to pick up trade ship propagation. We are in a golden age. It will end, though. Um, that'll be it. We're in the golden age of Ireland. Now, some people say it's not a good idea to take them early in the game, but my feeling is any advantage that we get out of taking the golden age will multiply any advantages we get down the line. Because the earlier you get something, the more you get out of it over the course of a game. And I feel like we've gotten a lot of value out of it in terms of being able to develop our provinces. Um, the good news is we can actually switch away here. Um, I think I'm going to keep military on a pretty low one, but I think what I could do is I could put my national focus here and sort of balance this out a little bit so that I'm not quite so bad um, and I'm making good amounts of all of these to pay for tech. So I could probably actually go ahead and spend some money, uh, some points here on upgrading some of these things. Uh, let's do manpower. So, manpower. There's four chunks of manpower. Let's do base tax. Donegal, Ormond, Deswiven, Vicul, Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. Very cool. Nice. See, we're slowly getting rid of that orange color. Like I said, things are things are brightening up for us. You compare Ireland to even just England uh, and Great and Scotland and stuff, and even France. Like France might have a lot more base tax than us, but we're starting to get up there. We're up to two eighty seven base tax, or base development rather. The base tax is a bit low, and our manpower is a bit low. But we can pick that up. I think I will lose. I don't want to lose stability. Uh, I'll lose diplo power. That's okay. I don't mind losing Diplo power. Natives in Jamaica lose ferocity. Some of these colonies are going to be finished soon. Very nice. Austria is now considered the great power. Trade League has been established. Ah, we are the third great power in the world. And Great Britain has formed. Interesting. Can I ally you yet? No. There will be blood, okay. We're making a little bit of cash. We're gonna keep our dude once again, so that he gets even better. Now, I don't wanna keep them beyond the age of like 65. I think that's when they start having a really high chance of dying. Uh, okay. We'll keep him, cause it'll make him better. We'll gain more points in these things. Norway is taking over Newfoundland, which is fine. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to get a monopoly on the coastline. 
kind of our objective here. Some of these colonies over here will finish soon. Uh, let's see. Ireland gains allows import in all these things, or we get local production. I think I want the traders to gain influence here. Yep. So that'll give me some trade power and I'll pick up more money from this. And you can see our money from this will start to increase rapidly as we develop more colonies throughout the North Americas. As we pull more and more money from the Car Caribbean um, and pull it towards Chesapeake, um, particularly St. Lawrence, once this starts developing really well, we're going to be pulling a lot of trade power out of there. Like, really not generating much money here. But uh, I think we're currently set up to intercept a lot of the trade from the west and a decent amount of it from the south. So that's quite good. Interestingly, they can cut me off of the Amazons, but I don't think they can... Oh, wait. There's even more Caribbean here, actually. I'm tempted to settle here and take over some Colombia. I get even more power in the Caribbean with another colonial nation to back up this one. Hmm. The extra colonial nation would net me a um, another merchant. Guantanamo became self-sufficient. Very nice. We can send a new guy over here. Teleport you there with the ships. Very nice. Good job, Cuba. Although I'm surprised you didn't make this your capital. You made this crappy little island here your capital. That's okay. I guess that was the first one I technically colonized. Um, sure. So how big is Irish Cuba now? They're currently only eight cities, but I do want to keep developing them because the more of this land I own, the better. They're just going to provide me with more. Now, one thing I want to know is how well are you guys spending your money? You're really not spending your money on much. So I'm going to increase your tariffs twice. Get that extra bit of money out of you guys. Then I'm going to send this guy there. You're going to land there. Okay, seize their wealth. Yep, don't want to lose stability. Guadalupe became... Oh, I didn't mean to recall. Damn. We're going to send you to there. You're going to go here. We're going to send you to there. That hurts my colony a little bit. We want to get the troops off Jamaica to land somewhere too. Get you to land there. Oh, hello. Kildaren separatists. Really? I guess you are technically reformed. Um, I guess I could increase autonomy here just to buy me time for this to go away. We are doing a lot of stuff to piss people off. So, a bit of autonomy will hurt our income, but it will prevent any uprisings, which uh, is exactly what I want. We are now making a bunch of cash. I'm going to go up to full maintenance and drilling with a leader drilling. We are going to pick up... How many more units can we do? No, I'm going to prioritize my navy. In particular, my navy protecting the North Sea. Now that the North Sea is starting to build up some value, I definitely want to get a bigger share of the value that's there and stop so much of it being pulled on to Lubeck and the English Channel. So we are going to build up... to 20. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. So a lot of these ports should be engaged now in making things very nice. Those trade ships are going to help pay off themselves over a long period of time. We'll see them all appearing and our income from trade should start to climb over time. Provincial trade power modifier. Uh, gain a stability. I would lose some dugouts. I'd have to take out a loan. But I would gain prestige and stability. I could also purchase up my stability, but that would be expensive. I think I'm going to gain the stability, even if I have to take the loan. I'll manually take the loan, too. It basically cost me an extra 30 ducts. Maliseet has become... And Irish Canada is now existing. 
Very nice. Uh, it means we don't pull quite as much of the trade power over here, but it does mean more stuff in general is produced. You can see they're getting a plus 22% modifier to goods produced, which is amazing. In fact, over here in the North Sea, I'm getting 21. Yeah, 21. How much are you getting over here in the English Channel? Not much at all, actually. Like, zero. Whereas there's a decent chunk over here. The power of being a merchant republic is the uh, goods produced modifier. Makes, uh, makes things really, really nice. Local goods produced plus 0 0.2. Very cool. Let's see, how many years? I guess I could spend most of these points. Let me see, how much am I making? Yeah, I could spend most of these points comfortably on development. And then there's really not... After that, though, there's not much more I can spend it on. So let's pick up the manpower first. Okay, then we'll pick up the base tax, because I want to get my base tax a bit higher. Then we want to do the production. Looks like my capital is the place to do the production in right now. It's the most efficient thing that I have available. More buildings would be good. Uh, I don't super care about these provinces, so I'm not going to worry about developing them. But I would like more production efficiency across my, my island so I could spend more of my development on these places. So I think I'll go for Ormond next. That'll increase my income. Income is starting to climb, so we're going to be doing a lot of building to make these uh, provinces stronger. Kadara has converted all eligible provinces to reformed. That's good. There's a nice chunk of religion here and there. Of course, they are changing to Anglican, which is um, an interesting one. It's a little bit of a different. I think it has its own events and mechanics and stuff. I might do an England gate playthrough next. We'll see. All right, we're going to save up to pay off this loan. Natives rose up. I have four col five colonies going. We're now making 8.58. Just check in on this every now and again as our naval fleet def defending it grows. We're going to put our next 20 ships probably pirateering in Lubeck because we can't collect from there. And so we want to steal value from these guys because they're pull basically we want to steal money from people who are pulling value away from us um, because that's technically our money. And not only that, but we're taking advantage of the fact that some people have domination of some of these nodes and we can, you know, like Denmark, what is it, a 36%, although they do have some privateering guarding. Yeah, I'd need to, I'd need to maybe, this would be less efficient, but I think it would still be worth it to privateer here because the amount of privateers here are getting quite large, um, which means we're not quite making as much as we should. All right. Battle of Dominica. Eventually, I want to own the uh, English Channel node, but I'm, I'm happy enough working on the um, North Sea for now. So this is going to last for 10 years. And my next idea group is probably going to be a military idea group, although I would love to take trade if that were an option. Either trade or maritime. Mm. Yeah, the naval force limit multiplier would be amazing. Ship cost, naval leader maneuver. Like, that would be pretty nice. I could have massive navies. I also went with navy ideas. have a super navy not ever worry about having to go to war on land we'll see let's go ahead and say the army should benefit but I'm, I'll have to think about what my next idea group is I mean I could also look at what like combinations look like here expansion ideas okay like what if I went for diplomatic ideas I would get advisor costs Stuff like that. What if I went for trade ideas? I could get trade efficiency, trade steering, interest per annum. Idea costs with humanism. 
Humanism plus um, exploration is quite good because of the global settler increase. These are also pretty nice for um, religion. The idea cost is pretty good, but I feel like this is better the earlier you take it and less good as the game goes on. Like, it's not bad. It's actually really, really good. But it might be good when we go to war with England to have humanism. But I think I need a military idea group, and I'm thinking quantity. Quantity, I feel like, just has so much potential in the mid and late game. So I might go for that. It's not a very good one early game, but it's really, really good late game, I feel. Quality is okay. Um, but I feel like I would just like lots more troops, because I think that's something I'm going to have trouble with, is having enough um, force limit. Okay, more stability. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Even if it means I have to take this loan out again. Okay, more uprisings. Nice. Colonists working away. Let's have a look. How much trade are we making now? We're making 8.95. Very nice. All because we are steering a bunch of trade this way. In fact, we have a very small amount of the trade power here, but we are pulling a huge amount of the trade power forward. Let's see who's pulling forward. Great Britain, me, all these guys. And who's pulling it forward? Yeah. All these guys are pulling it forward, but because I'm the only one with a merchant, I can use all their trade power to reinforce me. Which is superb. <clears throat> next year, I think I need to save up my dip my monarch points now for the next tech. Definitely don't want to fall behind in terms of tech, because I want to keep my innovativeness high. Um, I think it is time to get rid of this guy, as great as he is. Let's prioritize the admin again. Although I'm worried about... I'll be fine. Foreign spy detection. I'll probably get rid of him really quick too. We're getting a decent amount of Republican tradition. I would really like if our power projection was above 50. But I think that's... You know, we're already like doing a lot of our stuff that we can. I mean, I'm still subsidizing Scotland, right? No, I'm not subsidizing Scotland. Let me have a look. How do you feel? What if I were to try to sell you ships, right? Scotland wants 11 fewer allied ships. So Scotland, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them just a little scooch of subsidies for 10 years. Basically 120 ducats over so many years. And the hope is that this will help them be a little bit scarier to England. Let's get an alliance with them. Trade League of Venice has changed. All right, new goods have been discovered. Malevolent personality. Cool. I wonder how many... Uh, we're getting 130 settlers a year. That is so great. We are making colonies like crazy. Instead of the Influence Nation. So what I want to try to do is... I don't need to go up and around this coastline anymore. Um, what I'm trying to do is to seal off the coastline. And look at that, they're also colonizing. That's fantastic. Uh, how much are you paying for that? Let me have a look. You don't have a military, because it seems like you've decided to build that instead. Oh, and we're getting another tr we're getting another merchant, which is great. Because we could send this merchant here and use all the trade power in here to pull towards... Um, thing. But I think I'm going to go for the inland trade node because I have that caravan power and I don't really have any trade power down here. I think I'll steer up this way um, rather than down. But Mexico I will certainly steer towards the Caribbean. We'll pull this over there. So let's do that. That transfer of trade power. I guess I could go directly to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. 
But if I go through Chesapeake Bay, I think I get to multiply it again, right? If I pull it here, it gets multiplied, and then I can pull it through here. I mean, I don't have total domination. It might be better to go directly, but I feel like multipliers are good. It puts more money in the world, which means the, the lands that these natives have is more developed that I can, I can take from them later. I'll lose the prestige. Prestige is worth less than uh, military power for me. Alright, I do want more production efficiency so that when I spend my Diplo power on development, I'll be getting a better deal, because that seems to be a bottleneck for a lot of places, is um, efficiency. If we go in here and click this thing, you can see a lot of these places already have really high um, really high production efficiency, so we're going to have to to work on that. Muscovy versus Denmark. I'm not interested in that. Martinique just became self-sustaining. Get over there. Now, where is Spain colonizing? Here? No. Ah, Spain has started colonizing down here. Very cool, very cool. Irish Cuba is going to be robust as hell. We are going to want to get to work on colonial East America. And I'm thinking we want one that has some power in the Caribbean. I'm going to start claiming all of these important estuaries soon. Probably once I have the Caribbean filled out. Ah, price of coffee changes by 50%. And we gain some ducats and prestige. Actually, isn't it isn't there a way to check uh, goods that we are trading in? Let's see, trading bonus. Are we the production leader in anything? No. We don't have a trading bonus in a lot of stuff. But we do have 16% of the tobacco share. Spain has a bit more. Okay, it's fine. We'll keep working on it. Yeah, it looks like they might have picked up a bunch of tobacco here. Let's have a look. A little bit. We have some. We might pick up more. Uh, we are going to repay that loan. No one to last any longer. Dominica became self-sustaining. I'm already sending a guy there. Let's send you there. Let's move you down to this island, to Barbados. Oh no, sorry, this is St. Vincent. Gain stability. Ooh. I think I want to get my Republican tradition up a little bit. It's a little bit low. The Bahamas have become self-sustaining. Um... I think it's time to start claiming some of these important trade nodes. So let's get to work on Santi, and we will get you guys transported over to Santi ASAP. Very nice. I can convert this province to Protestant. This is Kildara. I do have that thing activated. Could I change you to a missionary strength guy? Yeah, that'll speed that up. 33 months. Let's do it. Trade League. Okay. We can invest in new technology. Ooh. Mingan became self sufficient. Okay, I want to start claiming this place up here. 
Settler chant, global settler increase. Yeah, I feel like aid natives is the right move here. This is like a total of plus... What did I say it was? Three per plus one percent. So this is like plus eight settlers per year for 40 ducats. And that lasts for two years. Like, that's that's a pretty good deal. Probably won't speed up my colonies by much, but, you know, it'll do the job. Um, Irish Canada is developing nicely. Do I care about snagging all this land up here? I'm more interested in locking out the eastern USA. So let's get to work on... Who is this? Unfortunate. Can't do Lenape, but I can do Manhattan. Okay, there's somebody in Manhattan. We'll go for Massachusetts. And we'll walk down there with these guys. To Massachusetts. There we go. Ah, Spain has started colonizing over here. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, ungrateful natives, all that stuff. But you can see here, um, if we check out some of these tiles, you can see the goods produced. They're a lot higher than what their base value should be. I think the base value should be 0 0.6. And we're getting half a good extra here, which is pretty good. Um, because local goods produced, that gets multiplied by all the multipliers, you know? And just as this money, or, or as, as the trade value transfers through all these nodes, you know, it ends up over here being a lot more for me. It looks like these guys are dealing with Protestant zealots. Well, that's actually fantastic. Ah, we're trading in tobacco. Excellent. We can get new technology. We're not going to bother. What I will do, though, is boost some more base tax. Do four of those. Kesbeck became self-sustaining. I am going to keep developing um, Canada with at least one colonist. They're developing their own colonies fairly slowly. I think I can do it much more efficiently, and that'll help them grow up and get to their key uh, 10 cities. And it'll also mean I get more tariffs in general. In fact, I'm half tempted to just increase their tariffs a click. Just one for now. That'll cost them a little bit of their money but they'll still be able to sustain most of what they're doing. They don't have an army yet, which is a little bit disappointing. See, my colonies are starting to become stronger. That's why I need to keep... I need to keep boosting my development so that my relative power to my colonies doesn't get out of hand. You know, we're getting our asses kicked here and there. Influential trading family in Chesapeake Bay, or I could get a skill 2 trader that's half price. I think I want the skill 2 trader that's half price. How old is he? We'll take the extra trade power. I'd love to build some shipyards. We are going to prioritize production efficiency in our main island because, again, we want this we want this development money that we spend to be as efficient as possible. Let us gain. We get to have five years of corrupt vice I think we'll just gain two inflation and then buy it down. I'm going to buy it down twice. Bring our income up to a reasonable level. Definitely... Definitely considering economic ideas for the inflation reduction that happens. It would save me a lot. It would mean if I do take loans, I save some money. And the development cost is really, really nice too. So economic ideas is definitely on my mind. So is administrative ideas to bring my tech costs down even further, as is diplomatic ideas. Um... I was also considering going for plutocratic ideas because it has this caravan power and extra merchants and stuff. It doesn't really feel like a military um, idea group. It feels like a way to get a non-military idea group using military points. It would be nice. We are going to have a really huge income, so we could make use of mercenaries as infantry. Goods produced is okay. It's not amazing. Let's see, does it have any really good combos? Let's see, Settler Chance. That would cost Diplo points. I'm already spending a lot of Diplo points on these things. 
National tax modifier. Hmm, yeah, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Plutocratic ideas. Some of them don't have combos. Yeah, I'm not so sure this is a this is a good move. I think if I were to go for anything, it would be quality. Sorry, quantity. Because quantity mixes really well with a lot of the ideas I have. For example, the garrison system. Um, exploration ideas gives us national manpower. And then the, also the global settler increase from um, colonial garrisons alongside a um, land force limit multiplier. That's pretty nice. I feel like... Quant Quantity, I feel like, has some weaknesses early game, but I definitely think it gets better as the game goes on. So I'm going to spend just a year with a military, uh, just five years with a military candidate. Will mean that I get crap all um, admin power, but that's okay. And the reason I'm focusing on this is so that I can run benign neglect and colonial expansion without hurting my diplo income. Man of War. All right. See, when do our caravels upgrade? They have already upgraded. So if I look at some of these. Bar. Cost me 60. So how much would it cost me to upgrade this one, for example? No, that's the one I had selected. What about you? 324. And what is the difference between the two? I think I can hover over them. I think there's like a difference between the trade power, right? If we look at the Bark versus the Caraval. Trade power 2, 2.5. So I'd be paying for a 25% increase in the trade power. I mean, that seems actually kind of okay. I don't see that being totally unreasonable. Let's spend a little bit of our Diplo power on development. Four clicks should do the trick. Again, keep your eye on our development. Look how we're, we're starting to become a nice bright orange color because we're developing so well. This is like my, this is one of the ways I like to play uh, sometimes is where I just don't go to war. I just I focus on spending as much of my admin power on development. Republican tradition, traders gain influence. Sure, I recover Republican tradition pretty quickly. So I can spend it pretty aggressively. So let's keep boosting our production efficiency in our main island because that is what's going to pay dividends throughout the entire game. We can do a mill tech and a diplo tech. Let's do another two clicks of each. Uh, I'll do three mill and three diplo. That'll bring us down a little bit. I wonder what our development is at. It's at 302. No wonder we are close to being a super great power. St. Vincent is now producing cotton. All right, military divided. Uh, I think fort defense is our move here. Okay, you picked up some of that. We also have a fort here that's going to want to be upgraded at some point in the future. Um, but probably not too many techs away from this. So there's a golden era in Alsace. Okay. End of religious turmoil. End of religions turmoil. Let's keep getting these. Again, we want to develop. Um, let's see, how many of my provinces are close to getting another building? That's kind of going to be an important decision here soon. So a lot of my provinces are pretty close to being 20 development, which will give us another building in them. My capital is pretty close from being 40 dev, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, let's go up to, let's go up to, uh, three stability. Okay, we got rid of a center of reformation. That's fun. I like that idea. There we go. It, it did its job. Like, it, it did what it needed to do. See, reform is spreading out here. I'm surprised it's not hitting France harder. It looks like it's mostly focused on Germany and England. It looks kind of historical, except for Ireland should be Catholic if it was more historical and... Uh, I think Sweden and stuff like that. These guys should be Protestant up here. Uh, maybe a little bit of over here. I don't remember. But Spain owns that now. God, Spain is so strong. Have they been generating claims? Oh, France. Oh, France. Oh, France. Oh, France. 
You don't want an alliance with me because we're not the same religion. We have common rivals, dude. I don't know why you would not. Denmark. Hmm. Maybe. I'd get another five points here. I could actually, you know what? I could rival Denmark and then start sending privateers against them. That is a cool idea. So let's pick up some caravels. I want to fill out my navy before I build more. I'm going to just set this to five. Um, make it easy, just a one-click build five. We'll wait until we have 101 gold. We can get more tech. Uh, we're going to wait one more year. Ragusa joined a trade league. Mace Lander Merchants, Morale and Navies. Cool. Uh, okay, so let's build these caravels. No, I don't want to create a template. I want to use this template. This will cost me 100 gold, take 300 days. Boom. Go. Make them. And we'll use these to privateer against Denmark and get our power projection up from having long-time rivals. Can I get another rival? And the really cool thing about this is, because you're not killing everyone around you, you actually get to play around with the power projection. Now, I probably could have been optimizing this and had plus one power per turn, but, but I think I can get up to... Um, I think I'll be able to get up to um, above 50 power projection here in a little bit as I finish more of this stuff. I have a colonial empire. I have two colonies. Convert provinces. Won't be able to do that, unfortunately. Force converted another nation. Asian trade. That's not going to happen. Unify culture. That could happen. I could attack Scotland, but I want to keep them on my side for now. I'm hoping that I'm scaring England from attacking them, or Great Britain from attacking them, to just make them feel... Just so they can expand less and they feel a bit threatened and then maybe they'll focus on their overseas colonies. Although I don't I don't see England making many colonies, actually, now that I mention it. They have exploration ideas, so it should be something they start doing in the not-too-distant future. And it just looks like they haven't done it. Ireland is in a fantastic place to go colonizing, by the way. Ireland and Portugal are great for this kind of game. Okay, Massachusetts has taken a boost. That's good. These guys are adjacent to me now. They're still a native council. Some of these guys are converting over to things. Have you generated claims on them? You are allied with the Iroquois and the Picot. I think I would like to get an army over here that I could fight these guys with. Are you really not searching still? Oh my god. I hate it when that happens, when this army thing forgets to do its job. Uh, da, 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 da. Gain Diplo power. Okay. St. Lucia has finished. We will send a satellite there. We go there. Another colony should be finished in the not too distant future. Price of slaves increases. Damn. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I mean, on the one hand, I like making money. On the other hand, slavery. <laughs> It's a bit of an uncool move. Uh, let's go ahead and take early modern administration. Alright, so we can upgrade our infantry, we get a bunch of techs, and we have a bunch of money left over to do development. Let's go ahead and boost things. Let's do our military first, because I think that's our weakest one. We want to generally boost the one that's the lowest. Yeah, so manpower, base tax production in that order is how we want to spend. Because it'll generally be cheaper. Okay, that's all that. Okay. Nice. Let's take a look. Mm, look at that beautiful orange color we're getting. Wonderful, wonderful orange. And that's going to make it even cheaper to develop our capital into a super, super duper duper hyper cool city. With lots of um, good stuff going on. It's actually only 97 to improve my capital. God damn. Although when the golden era ends, we are going to start... We're not going to be quite as strong. Ooh, colonial... Oh, colonial enthusiasm. Clearly. For five years? That's like an extra 40 colonists a year. 
in these places. That's craziness. We could probably run surplus colonies. I don't like to run surplus colonies. I feel like it's a big waste of money that you could be using to bot build buildings. Um, I think that's way more efficient use of your money. Okay, so second fleet is now ready. We will go ahead and privateer in Lubeck. And we'll have a look at how much money that makes us. Okay, hunter population of Barbados. So Lubeck is getting us about a quarter, say a little bit less than a quarter of what the English Channel is. So that's pretty good. Now there are cannons um, hunting, so that's weakening us there. Um, but I think it is worthwhile for me to steal money from Lubeck. Um, it will... Because this is technically some of my money being pulled away from the North Sea. So I need to get it back somehow. I need to take it away from Denmark or they're going to outscale me. So I think what I'll do is I'll add... I'll add another 15 ships here and they'll get built reasonably quickly in my territory. Okay, you're being attacked as you export. Now, Spain is going ham over here in colonial Mexico. That's fine. I'm more interested in Cuba and the eastern coast and Canada because they're the main ones that feed into me, whereas any of the sort of trade power over here has to feed through those anyway, so I'm going to get a, a piece of them, even if I don't directly control them, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm positioning myself for the for the trade lanes, you know? St. Vincent has become self-sufficient, and this is, I believe, the final colony available in the Caribbean. And then you'll have to start working on killing off Hispaniola. So let's send that there. You're going to make your way over to that island. Now we can see the Irish Cuba is now very well established. They're not doing any sort of settling with colonists, so I could probably pump up their tariffs and make good money off them. I'm going to pump up their tariffs a little bit, because this is some good money they're making. Um, they've got a huge balance that they don't need. Like, they're just sitting on this money. God damn. They're probably, they're probably looking to save up for manufactories, because that's where they would get the majority of their money. Um, okay, you could declare war with Hispaniola. Who would come to your aid? Interesting. So could I get you to start a colonial war? Do you have the power for that? Seven troops. What about Hispaniola? What do you have? Who has a bigger navy? Let's check out the military here. Armies. Um, so let's do it by country. I wish there was a search field here. That would be amazing. Or if I could mark certain nations as... This needs a bracket for like important nations. And then I can mark who shows up here. So Hispaniola has about 8,000 troops. Okay, uh, where's your naval? And Hispaniola has... Where? Are you Hispaniola? Has about five light ships and five transports, so I think that's actually a better navy than my little guy. Even though my guy has like way more development. It should be making way more money than this guy. Alright, screw you. You're not doing nothing with this money. I'm I'm increasing tariffs. Give me that money. So I want to wait for this to improve. Let's go for another military candidate. The aristocrats are now strong. Barbados has risen up. We've got some colonies finishing up here soon. Massachusetts and Santee. Those are the trade ones. Ah, uh, we can get to work on Chesapeake Bay now, so let's get you over there. Other one I would like is Manhattan. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that one. But definitely I can get to work on Lenape. Lenape. Okay, 
Uh, okay. How is my naval force limit? All right, let's start boosting our naval force limit again. This is an important building. Uh, ooh, Lloyd. Holster. How close am I to attack? Okay, I can still spend a little bit of my dipo, my powers here. I think I will spend some mill power here so that I can get a shipyard up here. Very nice. I want to get shipyards pretty much in all my territory. And then these four, I'll prioritize getting the um, regimental camps. Massachusetts became self-sustaining. Ah, uh, I can't make my way down there without a boat. Colonial East America. Let's get you over to... The Delaware Estuary is where I want to get to. Uh, could I declare some sort of war here? How many extra troops do I have? I have a decent amount of force limit because of my colonial nations. Very nice. Um, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for you to become 10 cities, which shouldn't be far away. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to call this an episode. I think we've we've done some interesting stuff. Our colonies are starting to develop. Our income is starting to skyrocket. We're up to 15 gold per turn, I just want to point out. Um, mostly from trade. Decent amount from other stuff. But mostly due to the fact that we are pillaging an ungodly amount of money from our enemies at sea. While also slowly building up the trade power in here. I would like to be above... 50%, but it's going to be hard to prevent all of this being pulled forward, but I can certainly prevent a decent amount of it, and any that gets pulled forward, I can privateer away some of that to make them feel bad about stealing my money. Privateering efficiency is being reduced, that's okay. Alright, I'm going to call that an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.